Are you struggling to decide between a vehicle wrap and a paint job? Well, if I told you there were seven simple questions that would take your confusion away. In this video, I'm going to cover the pros and cons of wrapping versus respraying your vehicle. Breaking the subject down into seven important questions that you can use to reach a decision that best fits you and your vehicle. Hi, I'm Richard Clark, founder of Raccoon, the award-winning vehicle wrapping company. Since 1992, we have been delivering groundbreaking vehicle projects to a wide range of corporate and prestigious clients. For over a decade, we were the authorized branding partner for the Gumball 3000 Rally, wrapping and branding over 100 supercars every year. Since 2005, we have been branding the iconic Foxen's Mini Fleet with the pinnacle being the award-winning rebranding of over 350 minis inside just 21 days. Landmark firsts include the wrapping of the London Eye capsules, the first velvet Porsche wrap, the first mirror chrome Lamborghini, and the world's first matte black wrap. Today, our expertise and vehicle wrapping skills enable us to wrap vehicles of all shapes and sizes for well-known brands, corporate fleets, and startups. We have taken our skills to another level over the past few years, creating unique vehicle based props and products to really make vehicles the star of the show. Cost depends on a variety of factors, including vehicle size, materials, and design complexity. The average cost to wrap a car is between 1,500 and 2,500 pounds whilst the average cost to wrap a van ranges from 1,500 to 3,000 pounds. If you are wrapping a fleet of vehicles all at the same time, the cost per vehicle will often be less. The average price of a full vehicle respray ranges from 1,000 to 15,000 pounds. Well, I think wrapping looks way better, but as a vehicle wrapper, of course I would say that. Let's look at this a different way. Which has the potential to look better, wrapping or respray? A respray is a permanent aesthetic choice. If you want to change the color, you will need to have the car stripped of paint and reprimed. A vehicle wrap is temporary, meaning it can easily be removed or changed if you don't like it, allowing you to refine your perfect end design. Color and finish choice for respray is often limited by manufacturers who will only allow certain brands of paint to be used at an official service provider. Vehicle wrapping has no such constraints, meaning you can have pretty much any design that you fancy. Wrapping does have some caveats though, particularly if you want to wrap internally or restore a classic car. Internal wrapping is possible but it is complicated and more expensive, whilst classic cars tend to have more fused panels, making the wrapping process more complex. If you are planning on restoring a classic car, we would recommend a respray over wrapping, especially if you want to display the internals. A car or van wrap generally takes up to two days to complete, from drop off to pick up. This time frame allows for the vinyl to adhere fully to the vehicle. Resprays can take anywhere from a few days to several weeks, with the average being four to seven days. Factors affecting this include complexity, prep work for the project, and repairs to any damaged bodywork. This depends on the level of damage, but anything more than very minor damage will make it difficult to wrap. Vinyl has a hard time adhering to rust and can make scratches more noticeable because it contours so tightly to the bodywork. It is best to get any damage taken care of for optimal results. Part of a full respray involves fixing such imperfections with repairs tacked onto the final bill. This will depend on how well looked after the vehicle is. But on average, three to seven years for a vehicle wrap and 10 to 15 years for a good paint job. Whether a couple of years makes a difference to you will depend on what you want from the end product. 
If you just want to restore your old paint job, are looking to sell or aren't looking to change designs in the near future, paint might be the better option. This tends to be a better option for vintage restoration projects. If you own a fleet of vans and are likely to update and refresh your brand every three years or so, wrapping is an ideal choice. If you represent a company looking to run a promotional campaign, wrapping will maintain the paint underneath, preserving resale value when the campaign ends. If you love customization and think you will likely be modifying or removing a design in the next five years, then wrapping might be for you. Wrapping will protect your vehicle better than a respray because the wrap acts as a second skin. This means it will take the brunt of any nicks or scratches, helping to protect the paintwork underneath. Customization in general devalues vehicles, but for custom paint jobs, this can be very expensive as it would cost a lot to return the car to a factory color. Vehicle wraps have a clear advantage here as they not only protect the original paintwork, but are easy to remove, a real win-win for the piggy bank. Well, it depends. At the end of the day, you have to think specificity. If you have a customization or restoration project in mind, which medium will help bring your vehicle ideas to life, vinyl or paint? Make a list of the pros versus the cons if you're struggling, or check out our ultimate guide to vehicle wrapping for an information deep dive. I'm Richard Clark, signing off for Raccoon. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty of great videos coming out every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.